learners i have been starting with again a fresh class for you about our intermediate second year commerce that is a part b accountancy we started with a chapter called as a single entry system and in the earlier class i have given you some problems for practice so you have any doubts or clarification or if you have solved the problems kindly comment or give the post for that so now in the last class we have been doing the straight away problems so straight away problems means when all the related information regarding the capital at the beginning capital at the end of the year drawings as well as additional capital introduced in the business are given to you ready made how to find out our capital uh, sorry how to find out our net profit or net loss today we are going to continue our class with some new problems same single entry problems but with little bit change when the information is not given full first that is either they have given capital at the beginning of the year or either they have given capital at the end of the year or either they have given net profit or any one of the item like capital at the beginning or capital at the end and they are asking you to find out any one of the information as a missing information then how to find out the profit or how to find out the missing information in the problem so before i continue my class i will try to explain you one more extra problem in the same pattern where we have been given with each and everything in the problem okay so problem number 6 find out the profit or loss under single entry system find out the profit or loss under single entry system from the following excess of assets over liabilities on 142001 excess assets over liabilities on 31st march 2002 25000 fresh capital introduced Uh, 
is personal use thousand rupees per month. Okay, so this is the problem given to you. They are asking you to find out the profit or loss under single entry system. What are the things given? Excess of assets over liabilities on first of April two thousand one. Excess of assets over liabilities on thirty first March two thousand two. They have given you fresh or additional capital introduced, and they have also given amount withdrawn by owner for his personal use. They have given you thousand rupees per month. With this information, they are asking you to find out whether a business has done profit or loss. So, what is your result? Try to find out and explain to the owner. So, what method we can use to find out the profit or loss? Because they are specifically said in the problem itself under the single entry system. That question of whether it is a double entry or single entry will not arise. We have to find out only under which method, double single entry system. So you know better how to find out the profit or loss under single entry system. Once again, I will draw whole fledged format on the board, and I will make you to understand. Calculation of profit or loss under single entry system. So we we'll start with capital. At the end of the year, capital at the end of the year. So the capital at the end of the year. We are starting on first of April two thousand one. And we are ending on thirty first of March two thousand two. But the capitals are not given directly in the problem. If at all you are familiar with your first year accountancy, that is, what is mean by capital or what is mean by investment in the business? How to calculate? So, for example, what is accounting equation? Accounting equation is nothing but assets. What is the investment made by the proprietor in the business minus the debt or amount borrowed by him to run the business? If you did it, you will get the capital at a particular period. So he has given excess of assets or liabilities. That is, our assets are more than liabilities on first of April two thousand one by twenty thousand. This is called as a capital. They have given you. Indirectly capital. So assets minus liabilities will give you capital. This is on thirty first March two thousand two. We are having twenty five thousand. For this, we will add drawings made during the year. Drawings made during the year. So drawings made during the year means whatever the cash or goods taken over by the proprietor from the business for his personal use, we will call that as a drawings. So in the earlier problems, what we have discussed. The drawing sum was given ready-made to you, plan. But all this we cannot expect in the problem. Drawing sum will be given per annum ready-made. Sometimes if they give per month, like example in this problem, amount withdrawn by the owner for his personal use per month thousand. Owner is taking thousand rupees. Per month for his personal use, so we we'll call this as drawings. But he is taking per month. We have to convert that into per annum. So thousand rupees into twelve, twelve thousand. 
So when you add 25,000 with 12,000, you will get 37,000. From this we need to minus fresh or additional capital. So fresh or additional capital given for us in the problem is 5,000. We will minus that one. So the balance what you are going to get is 32,000. We will call this as net adjusted capital. Net adjusted capital. So till here I think you are being clear now. We started with the capital at the end of the year which is nothing but we will call excess of assets or liabilities. Then we added the drawings made and we deducted the additional capital introduced in the business. You got 32,000. From this 32,000 we need to deduct or minus the capital at the beginning of the year. Again the cap at the beginning of the year is 20,000. They are given as excess of assets over liabilities. So excess of assets over liabilities, mean, liabilities means it's nothing but our capital which we have already shown here. That means your assets are more than liabilities to the extent of 20,000. So less capital at the beginning of the year. That is capital is equal to assets minus liabilities. Already is given to you here, but just I am ready for your understanding. 1 4 2001 20,000. So your net adjusted capital is more compared to capital at the beginning of the year. Your net adjusted capital is 32,000. Whereas your capital at the beginning of the year is only 20,000. That means when you minus 32,000 from 20,000, you will get the answer in plus only. You will not go in minus. Then we will call that as a profit 12,000. This is your net profit. Followed girls, if you have any doubt in this, you can come into me. I will give one problem as an assignment you can do and you can try the problem. Excess of assets over liabilities, I will give you. I will change excess of assets over liabilities on 31st. March 2004 15,000 X of assets over liabilities on 1st April 2000 2003 We take this as 10,000 Fresh capital introduced will go for 2000 Then personal use 800 per month So I explained the problem earlier one. Same similar type of problem. One I gave you as an assignment. Please try this problem and post me the comment. Whether you understood the problem or not. Whether you can able to do the problem or you have any type of clarification regarding the solving of the problem. Okay? Right. Now we will go for one more type of problem where the information is not given to you totally. Some information in the problem is not given. Then how to do the problem? 
Every time, keep remember our single entry problem for finding the profit and loss will be done like this one. But in this only any information like suppose they are not given capital at the end. Suppose if they are not given capital at the beginning. Suppose if they are not given drawings made and they are asking in the problem to find out a particular item. Then we will do the problem by using this format only. No other format will be used for doing the problem. Okay? Right now. So we will go for the next one. Right girls, now see this problem and try to understand what is given and what they are asking you in the problem. See here, from the following, find out the profit or loss under single entry system. They are very clearly said in the problem to find out either the profit or loss. They are not said you to find out any one of the missing information. But when you see our pro forma, we are having some four items here. But the information is given only for two items: capital at the end and capital at the beginning. With these two items only, they are asking you to find out either the profit or loss made by the business. That means any other item in our format or in our pro forma will be considered as a nil or zero. So what is the information given for us in the problem? Capital at the end of the year is 10,000 and capital at the beginning of the year is given how much? 7,500. With this two information, they are asking you to find out the profit or loss. Now see here. So, we are finding out the profit or loss under single entry system. So, capital at the end of the year. Always we have to start if they are asking you to find out the profit or loss. What is given information? Only capital at the end and capital at the beginning. So, they are not given anything like drawings and additional capital. So, forget about that. Don't bring that items in your mind now. What is the things we are having in the problem given for us? Capital at the end, capital at the beginning. These things we will keep as a nil or zero. So, what is the capital at the end of the year? 10,000. We will write here 10,000. The capital at the end of the year is how much? 10,000. For that 10,000, actually, when you do calculate the profit on the single entry system, we have to add the drawings. But the drawings is not given for us in the problem. Then the drawings should be considered as a nil. That is nothing but zero. Drawings is 
zero. So the ten thousand will be carried forward as 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 it is. So for that, again we have to do the adjustment regarding additional capital or fresh capital introduced. That also is not given for us in the problem. So keep for that also as a nil or zero. So the adjusted annual capital or net adjusted capital we will take as ten thousand. Same. Now the capital at the beginning in the year is given for us. The capital in the beginning is seven thousand five hundred. So this we will take here seven thousand five hundred. So from ten thousand, if you minus seven thousand five hundred, ten thousand is the bigger number when you compare to the capital at the beginning because our capital at the beginning is less. Our capital at the beginning is less when compared to net adjusted capital. So the result what you are going to get is profit. So when you get the plus answer, our result will be profit. When you get a minus answer, our result will be in the loss. So now we are getting an answer in plus. That means from ten thousand rupees, if you remove seven thousand five hundred, the balance still left out in the business is two thousand five hundred, which is in the plus. That we will call it as net profit. So two thousand five hundred. This is called as net profit. Girls, I think you have been understood my problem. Now I will give you similar one type of a problem. Try this as a assignment for you. Problem number nine. I am giving this as an assignment. Try this. Give a result as a comment. So if you have any doubt, just I will change the figures. Try the problem. Capital at the end of the year, I am writing seven thousand five hundred. Capital at the beginning of the year, two thousand five hundred. You have to just find out whether you got the profit or loss. Okay. Now we will go to another type of problem where we are going to calculate. A missing information in the problem. Okay, right. So I will change here. From the following, find out the profit or loss. Instead of writing the profit and loss, I will write from the following information. Find out capital at the beginning. From the following, find out the capital at the beginning of the year. Capital at the end of the year, we are having fifteen thousand. Capital at the beginning, we don't have. Okay, because in the question itself, they are very clearly mentioning that you have to find out capital at the Beginning of the year. Okay, so drawings made three hundred per month. Then fresh capital. Introduced.
In this problem, they are asking you to find out from the following, find out the capital at the beginning of the year. So what is the information given to you in the problem? Capital at the end, they gave 15,000. They gave capital at the beginning, nil, that is zero. Then we have drawings made 300 per month. They have not given you as a per annum, but they have given you as per month. That means we are supposed to convert this into per annum. Then fresh capital introduced 2000. Whereas a net loss in the business, we are not getting the profit, but we are getting the loss in the business to the extent of how much? 4000. So with this information, they are asking you to find out the capital at the beginning. So we are finding out capital at the beginning. Calibration of capital at the beginning. So capital at the end of the year already is given to us 15,000. For this capital at the end of the year, we will be adding drawings made during the year. We are withdrawing 300 rupees per month. So 300 per annum will become 300 into 12. So calculate per annum 300 into 12 will give you 3600. So 18,600. You have introduced additional capital 2000. So deduct 2000 additional capital. So this will give you 16,600. Up to here, I think you are very much clear because it is just posting the figures in the problem. That is, capital at the end we have ready made. We have drawings made during the year 3600. We have a fresh capital during the year that also we have taken. But in a normal problem, you would have been deducting from the net adjusted capital capital at the beginning of the year. But in this problem, you cannot deduct the capital at the beginning of the year because capital at the beginning is missing in the problem. Our solution itself is to find out what is the capital at the beginning. We are not supposed to find out whether a profit or loss under single entity system. But we need to find out only capital at the beginning of the year. So, with that intention, now here only we will change our calculation pattern. So, if you get profit, we will write here net profit in the business. But here in the problem, we have not got the profit, but we got the loss. So that is, we will write here. How much is the net loss given for us? 4,000. So, we will write here net loss. This capital at the beginning, we will find out as a balancing figure. So, you should recollect what I said in my regular classes in the last two days. How you are going to find out or how you are going to decide whether a business is getting the profit or loss. If the net adjusted capital is more and capital at the beginning is less, the result we are going to call it as a profit. But if the net adjusted capital is less, but the capital at the beginning is more, we will call that as a net loss. So you are getting 4000 loss. That means your capital at the beginning should be more than 4000 compared to net adjusted capital. So you write like this here 16,600 plus 4000. So you get 20,600. So your 20,600 is a balancing figure that is a capital at the beginning of the year. Ella tells you how you are going to come to conclusion that your capital at the beginning is this much. Because what is the result in the problem? 4000. That is a loss. So loss always occurs when your capital at the beginning amount is more. Net adjusted capital should be less then only you will get the loss in the business. Okay? So try to understand once again I will explain. Capital at the end of the year already is given for us. 
drawings made during the year 300 into 12 that is 3600 so they are not given drawings per annum but they are given per month when it is given per month we will convert it to per annum and we add okay now fresh or adjusted or additional capital is given to us 2000 always the fresh or additional capital should be deducted from your amount what you add to the capital at the end and drawings then you will get the net adjusted capital up to here is our normal calculations so don't get confused how to find out a missing information that is only the missing information what the examiner wants to know from you is only the capital at the beginning or capital at the end they will not ask other than these two items for you to calculate so net when the capital at the beginning is missing in the problem what is given to us in the problem definitely they will give a small hint first what type of hint they will give they will give either net profit or net loss without giving a net profit or net loss without giving any type of a clue we cannot further proceed in the problem here because you are having net adjusted capital okay you are having a net adjusted capital we have to find out capital at the beginning so either net profit or net loss should be given to you if they are not given we cannot find out the capital at the beginning in a, a accounting language again we have to go for the mathematical level which is not possible for an accountant to do because we are single entry itself means without using any type of a large type of a cumbersome type of a calculations in our business it's a very simple easy method of finding the capital finding the profit or loss or capital or missing information okay one more problem i will tell you try to understand Seven thousand five hundred capital at the end. Drawings we will take here one hundred and fifty rupees per month. Capital introduced one thousand. Net loss we will take two thousand. Okay. Right number once again. So once again we are seeing the problem from the following find out the capital at the beginning of the year. So what is given to you in the problem again capital at the end they give 7500. Capital at the beginning we don't have find out that the drawings made 150 per month then fresh capital 1000 net loss 2000. So first we will take 7500 it is a basic point or starting point of our problem so we are having drawings made by the proprietor 150 rupees into 12 150 into 2 and you calculate 0, 2 fives are 10, 1, 2 ones are 2, 3, 0, 1 fives are 5, 1 ones are 1. So you get 1800 rupees. So 1800 we will add. So 0, 0, 8 plus 5, 13. 1 carry 7, 8, 9, 9,300. From that, what is an additional capital introduced in the problem? 1,000. We will minus that 1,000. So your resultant figure is 8,300. Now, they are given for us in the problem capital net loss. How much is the net loss they are given for us in the problem? 2,000 rupees is it? net loss that means 
your capital at the beginning of the year should be more than 2000 when compared to net adjusted capital so we will write here Eight thousand three hundred plus two thousand, so it should be ten thousand three hundred. Your capital at the beginning of the year is ten thousand three hundred. Then our answer will be minus two thousand. So if you understood the concepts, if you understood the method of finding the profit or loss under the single entry system, please try to solve the problems or assignments what I gave you and explain you. If you have any type of doubts or clarifications or any type of comments, please post to the concerned video. Thank you. We will continue the next class.